Hello. Took my first breath where the mud rises, spills into the gut. Mexico, the skyline is colored by chemical plants. Put bread on the table of the working man, where the working man does his best to provide safety and shelter for kids and a wife. Giving a little love of soul every day, making all the time to keep the wolves away. Might be able to give me a breakdown in terms of the equipment we're uh, listening to yeah. at the moment. All right, what do we got going? So the speakers are Bowers and Wilkins 804 D4s. Okay, that's the latest. Uh, is that the largest of them? No, no, no. That's actually the smallest of the towers. That's oh, the entry level tower. Okay. In the series. All right. Uh, but it's perfect for this room. Right. Uh, powering it on the left hand side is the new Marantz Model 10. Okay. It's an integrated two channels amplifier. 250 per two by two, 500 by two at four ohms. Uh, all analog, there's no digital stage in that. On the right hand side is the digital source, which is our Link 10N. That is our streaming device, but it's also a full blown front end preamp. So you have a phono stage for both moving magnet, moving coil. You've got XLR and RCA in and out. You've got digital in and out as well, uh, and a 48 bit streamer. Uh, so if you wanted to replace an old preamp with that and keep your speaker and amp combo, that could be your new front end. And that's the all in one. The, you know, I really, um, I really like the fact that preamps are, you know, they're all in one at mm -hmm. this point a lot of the time. Well, Moran's you know. thought about it where, you know, if you have a legacy speaker amp combo that you don't want to separate but want to get to a streaming capabilities, you now have to go That's the way to go. front end in and keep your legacy equipment together. Right, right. Awesome. Thank you very much for the breakdown. Thank you. Appreciate it.